Welcome back, everyone. So I've done a few of these lectures, these short lectures about word origins, like where we get the word ostracism or draconian. I thought I'd do something a little different. This is a phrase origin. And some people have heard of this one. It's called, you have crossed the Rubicon. And if you already know a little bit, you could look at this map and can kind of quite, quite quickly see it's got to do with ancient Rome. So let me tell you this quick little story. Just take a few minutes here and you'll kind of have this great expression you could use in your writing and your studies anywhere you want to talk to anybody. So what does it mean and where does it come from? So it has to do with Julius Caesar. So around the year 60 BC, there was what we call the first triumvirate formed in Rome. This is when the Roman Republic was collapsing. I have a lot more detail about this in my long lectures about the fall of Rome. A very important, very interesting topic. I'll probably link it in the descriptions here so you can kind of look at that if you want a lot more information. Um, and so in 60 BC, I had this triumvirate, three men, Caesar, a man named Crassus, a man named Pompey. Long story short, eventually it was just Pompey and Caesar. Uh, Crassus was later earlier killed in battle. And what ended up happening is that Caesar was becoming very popular. His soldiers really loved him. He's out here doing a lot of conquest around this area we call Gaul up here. He's doing really well. The Senate's not liking this in Rome. Uh, Pompey's not too happy about this in Rome. And so what ends up happening is the Senate sends a letter to Caesar basically saying, come back to Rome. And when you do, don't bring your army with you. And in 49 BC, when this all happens, there's a river in the northern part of Italy, right over here in the northern part of Italy, not exactly where I'm drawing this red line, there's a river called the Rubicon. And in that river, the Rubicon, that's where Caesar decides to cross that river with his army. And the moment he decides to cross that river with his army, the, you know, the expression is you've crossed the Rubicon. Why is that? It means the point of no return. The moment he does that, you are now guaranteed a civil war in this Roman Republic. And so that's why we use that phrase. There's no going back. It means the point of no return. And because it was a pivotal moment, once that happens, the Roman Republic does fall into a civil war. Um, and then eventually through other events, eventually lead to the rise of the Roman Empire. So anyways, that's where we get that expression for you from. You've crossed the Rubicon, something you could easily use in a lot of places. Uh, again, please feel free to look at my channel for other lectures that have a lot more detail. Or if you like these short lectures, I got a whole playlist on short lectures. You can see here, you can get to, um, and you can kind of find a lot of little things that are interesting that I hope you enjoy. All right, everyone, have a great day. Thank you.